They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Championship. Every kid dreams of it today. Only one will go home with the glowing piece of our radical rock. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the globe. Before we kick off our World Championship games, we're going to go to our referee, Mora Quirk, for an official gold medal update. How's it look, Mo? Hello, Mike. Here's a look at the standings. The race for the world title has really tightened up. Today's teams meet with second place on the line. Let's get underway and see what happens. All right, well, we're going with our first event. We're going to find out which kid has the highest vertical leap because they are going to be going over the top. What we do here is we give our kids some ballistic bungee and then we let them set sail over the high bar. They're going to be hitting heights even Olympic high jumpers can't hit. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, each player will have three jumps to try and clear heights of 2.5, 2.75, and 3 meters. Only their best jump counts, and the highest overall jump wins. On your mark, get set. Well, Lena from Israel, her nickname's Rocky, and rock on, Rocky! No problem for her. And we'll go to Mo and find out if that's official. It is official. Lena cleared 2.5 meters. On your mark, get set. Rocky, off the bridge. 2.75 meters on the line. And oh, she comes barreling in into that bar. So she will get situated back up on the aerial bridge. She'll have one more shot at 2.75. Mo. On your mark, get set. The Extreme Arena rocket for Lena. Rocky, up and over. Oh, Mo. Little Dick Enberg there for you, folks. That's my homage to him and Lena up there with a rockin', rocky jump. Let's go to Mo and find out if that's official. Yes, Mike. Lena's best jump was 2.75 meters. So proudly representing Israel, she's now in the lead at 2.75. On your mark, get set. This is Enrico from Germany. This man is tall and strong and no problem at 2.5. His nickname is the Knight Rider. Let's find out if that's official. Mo. Yes, Mike. Enrico cleared 2.5 meters. All right, so he's, he'll get a shot at 2.75 right now. On your mark, get set. For the tie with Israel, Germany's Knight Rider. Oh! Stepping on the bar and knocking it over, so he'll have one more shot to tie the score at 2.75 meters. And he's situated back up there. We'll get Mo to kick it off. Mo. On your mark, get set. Here's the jump, the push, the tuck. Oh, just hitting the bar. Let's go to Mo. Enrico's best jump was 2.5 meters. Okay, so officially it looks to be Lena in first right now, Enrico in second, and getting up next will be Cookie Jones. His first name's Dane, the great Dane. We'll see what he can do. On your mark, get set. Playing for the United Kingdom. Cookie up when perfect form. You see him twisting his body with a beautiful tuck over 2.5 easily. Let's find out if that's official. Mo. Oh, yes, Mike. Dane cleared 2.5 meters. On your mark, get set. Cookie. Will he crumble? Oh. Well, the cookie didn't crumble, but he did stumble coming across that bar. Mo. On your mark, get set. One more shot to tie Israel. Cookie goes up, and oh, takes a bite out of the bar. So 
Cookie, as he gets off the aerial bridge, we'll go to Mo and find out the official results. Mo! Dane's best jump was 2.5 meters, which puts Lena in first place, and then Enrico and Dane tied in second place. Well, Lena is the leader because of this jump. Great form, up and over victory at 2.75. Let's check out our leaderboard. Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Lena from Israel. And tied in second place with 200 points each, Enrico from Germany and Dane from the UK. So some global congratulations after that event. And right now, it's time to meet an insane Israeli with the eye of the tiger. She just won the last event. Now, Rocky Benzor, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Lena Benzur from Ramat Ashran, Israel. I like drawing, dancing, horse riding, and bike riding. When you hear the word competition, what goes through your head? Is it fear, anxiousness, excitement? Take my advice, just trust yourself. I'm very happy to be here at Global Guts to represent my country, and I'll do the best to bring home the gold. Well, how do you train a global army of guts athletes? We take them to our gym for an all-new basic training. First, our players will be shooting down the slingshot. Then after they get out of that, they got to power up over the pyramid. Then cruise it up the cargo net. They get to the tippity top of that. They'll be setting sail across the Tarzan rope. And then flying down the fire pole, firing back up the wall, climb, and then boom, bing, daddy, bang, into the landing pad to finish the race. Mo. Mike, our players are timed from starting line to landing pad impact. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Well, the best in our first event was right here. That's Lena down the slingshot. And she's up the cargo net, Rocky. Rocky's going to fly now. Now, folks, in this event, the quick start down the slingshot, important, but then you got to have speed and fearlessness throughout the rest of the race. And up the wall climb, Rocky Benzor. She hasn't been here before, but rock and roll in her way to set the pace. Let's go to Mo and find out the official for Lena. Lena clocked in at 21.2 seconds. All right, Knight Rider's up next. On your mark, get set. Down the slingshot, the Knight Rider! This Knight Rider! Oh, folks, he ain't no Hasselhoff, but man, he is hustling off a serious time. Fastest time wins if you want a 300 bean count at the end. Down the fire pole, up the wall climb. He's gonna have to hustle in the landing pad. It's gonna be very close into the back. Oh, he might have done it. He needed a fast time to get back out of there and beat Lena's time. Let's go to Mo and find out the official. Enrico clocked in at 20.7 seconds. Enrico. Cookie up next. On your mark, get set. The cookie. The cookie. A monster. Over the pyramid. He just jumped right over it. The card going in. He's going to have to place his feet up there. That's where a lot of our players have trouble. 20.7, the time to beat the cookie through the jungle, up the wall climb. It's going to be very close. He's taking in two steps. Oh, he slipped into the bag. Oh. So cookie rolling out of the landing pad. You see he got caught right there going up the wall climb. Let's go to Mo and find out the official results. Mo. Dane clocked in at 21.7 seconds, which puts Enrico in first place, Lena in second place, and Dane in third place. Well, proof that Dane the cookie ain't made of oatmeal. Look at this man. He's made of muscle. Watch him go up and over the pyramid. Boom! Yeah! Just like a cowboy. Cookie. But where Cookie had trouble was the wall climb right here, and Enrico, boy, can he go up and over and into the airbag. Magnificent work. Let's go to Mo and check out our leaderboard now, Mo. Well, Mike, now Lena from Israel and Enrico for Germany are tied in first place with 500 points each. And in third place with 300 points, Dane from the UK. Well, two down, two to go. What's the crag? When we come back, we'll be getting in the pool, pounding that, and kicking some football. Stick around. 
Welcome back to Global Guts. Three players, three countries, one, one glowing piece of our radical rock to give away at the end of our championship. But right now, it's time to get to know a German sensation, rock in the nation. Hey, Knight Rider, Kluger, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Enrico Kluge from Dresden, Germany. After school, I play soccer, basketball, and table tennis. Every weekend, I like to go hiking with my family in the woods. My sister gave me this hippopotamus for good luck. If I win, I'll put the trophy in my room so that everyone can see it. Who is the best whitewater rafter in the world? Well, here on Global Guts, we have set up the most raging rapid you've ever seen. We're going to give our players some paddles. They're going to try to withstand the punishing punishment of our pounding pool. It's going to mow for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, each player will, will maneuver around the buoys and high-five the spotter to end the race. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first, Lena Rocky. Benzor. She's tied for the lead with Enrico from Germany. Rocky. Need I remind you, she is from Israel and she has got some guts. She is going to set the pace. You see those waves are trying to push that raft filled with air around the nooks and crannies of the pool. But Lena, determined, just focus completely and coming across with a touch that will stop the clock. They don't make it around those buoys. They will get penalties. We'll have to go to Mo and find out what the official time for Rocky was. Mo. Lena clocked in at 28.1 seconds. Up next, Enrico. On your mark, get set. The Knight Rider under the fabricated daylight of the Extreme Arena. 28.1 is the time he needs to beat, and you see this man is a strong man. He's moving very fast, but he's caught in the corner, pushing off the wall. He, remember, he's got to get around that buoy. So digging past with the touch. And if that's official, he is now in the lead. He covered that pool very fast. Let's go to Mo. Enrico clocked in at 21.7 seconds. Cookie's up next. On your mark, get set. All right, Cookie. The Great Dane from Wales. This is where he needs to get around that first buoy. 21.7, time to beat. And Cookie, getting, digging through. Make it around that buoy if Cookie can make it. He's got about six seconds. He'll be right back in the game. Cookie doesn't crumble. Let's go to Mo. Dane clocked in at 17.6 seconds, which put him very nicely in first place. Enrico in second place, and Lena in third place. You got your chocolate chip, your oatmeal raisin, your peanut butter, but this cookie is cut from his very own mold, and this Welsh mold is cut for gold. First place points, let's go to Mo. Mo! Enrico from Germany is still in the lead with 700 points, but very close behind, tied in second place with 600 points each. Lena from Israel and Dane from the UK. All right, well, we got a game going on here right now, ladies and gentlemen. No time for a glass of milk, though. Time for this Welsh Cookie Jones to spill your guts. Hi, I'm Dane from Talbot in Wales, and I'm a UK player. My favorite sports is soccer and rugby. I like playing rugby because I like scoring, running with the ball and munching people. This is a Welsh rugby league jersey. My cousin wore this to play for Wales and I'd like to play for them one day. I'm really proud of it. I also play soccer. I play for the South Wales School of Excellence. It's our fourth event and imagine you're down by one, not one, not two, not three, not four, but five goals. You gotta catch up in a hurry. Time for a little blasted. Ladies and gentlemen, our players will be bombarded with 200 balls. They're gonna have 60 seconds. Let's go to Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, players will have 60 seconds to try and score as many goals as possible. Players may not leave the circuit and may not touch the ball with their hands. The player with the most goals at the end of 60 seconds is the winner. On your mark, get set. 60 seconds of pandemonium on that floor. Those balls are dropping from the top and you gotta put the most balls in your goal. And 
and it's very close going into this event. Remember, in the lead is Enrico with 700 points. He is beating Lena and Cookie. Dane the Cookie, they both have 600. We have an individual judge for each player who will count up the scores, but this is not the time to do fancy footwork and dribbling on the floor. It's just kick the ball, put it in the goal, and score the most that you can. Reaction time, very important. Being able to handle the ball and put it right in your goal, and then of course control. Accuracy is the most important thing after kicking the ball. And so with 10 seconds left, absolute pandemonium out here on the floor. I have no idea what the score is, ladies and gentlemen. And this is really gonna define who our leader is before we go into the crack event. Blast it, blast off, let's go to Mo, find out what the official results are, Mo. In first place was Dane making seven goals. In second place, Enrico scoring six. In third place, Lena scoring four goals. So the Knight Rider right in the black and white rubber ball into the goal for second place points. But the story here, the cookie. The cookie man turning it up to 350. Bacon cookies in the goal, black and white. Yeah, a lot of points for him. And I talked to the cookie yesterday. Let's get to know a little bit further. The Welsh Dane cookie is what he had to say. What do you think is going to be the most important athletic quality that you have that's going to uh, help you tomorrow? Uh, strength and speed. Now, how, why, what have you done to get yourself prepared for the competition? I've been uh, bike riding and circuit training. Uh, I've been watching my diet and... Uh, no cookies? <laughs> no, not for a while. And with that fourth event, the competition looks even tighter. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard. Mo! That's right, Mike. Enrico from Germany and Dane from the UK are tied in first place with 900 points. In third place is Lena from Israel with 700 points. All right, so it's very, very close. Time to give this soccer ball the boot. Put on your mountain climbing suit. We got the crack coming up. Super aggro crack. Stick around. Global Guts, ladies and gentlemen, it's all gonna come down to the super aggro crag where the points have gone through the roof. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first place. Let's go to Mo and see where they stand, Mo. Mike, after four events, Enrico from Germany and Dane from the UK are tied in first place with 900 points each. And in third place with 700 points, Lena from Israel. Oh, I got a feeling this crag's gonna be beautiful. Let's show you how they got there. Enrico, look how high he can go up and over, but victory in this one went to Lena, showing how she leans her body right over there. 300 points for Lena from Israel. The cookie, cookie man going over that pyramid. Oh, it's such a beautiful shot. We had to see it again. Up the cargo net, but first place points went to Enrico from Germany. He came back. He wanted 300 beans for himself. So the cookie then decided he was going to get in the pool after Lena, who was paddling her way through a buoy. But the cookie was the one who took home first place points. Sticking his tongue out. Licking his way to 300 points, and then we get into Blast It, where, look at this shot. Great Dane Cookie off the back, into the goal. Mr. Magic, 300 points. We got a tie score for first place, and Lena's in second place with 700 points. So, ladies and gentlemen, it all comes down to the super aggro crack. First it was the aggro crack, then it evolved into the mega crack. Now, the super aggro crack. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks that are ready to roll. From there, hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow, protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that's ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you Mo. Mo! 
players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one, at the peak of the mountain will take first place points. Mike. So it all comes down to this. Will it be Israel at the top first, or will it be Germany, or will it be the United Kingdom? One climb left to go. Let's get it started, Mo. On your mark. Get set. Okay, folks, it all comes down to this. Global Guts glory and a gold medal on the line. Who's going to get to the top of the crack first? They're all at switchback men trying to fight their way through the snow. It looks like Enrico and Cookie, Dane, they got to hit all the actuators. Coming up at the ice wall. Oh, Cookie missed an actuator. Enrico's at the top. He locks in first. Cookie missed one. And it looks like Lena missed one too. We got the silver medal on the line. Silver medal goes to Cookie. The bronze will go to Lena. Let's go to Mo. In first place on the super aggro crack, Enrico from Germany. In second place, Dane from the UK. In third place, Lena from Israel. And so the bronze go to Lena, the silver looks to be to the Dane, and the gold to Enrico, who is climbing up the crag, ladies and gentlemen, up the ice wall, this is where Cookie was sent back down, and Enrico slipped up to the top of the crag, all the way from Germany to global guts glory, all alone at the top of the crag, let's go to Mo. In third place today, Lena from Israel with 1,075 points. In second place, Dane from the UK with 1,450 points. Our winner today, Enrico from Germany with 1,625 points. Three global athletes who have come from all over the world to compete here. Lena will take back to Israel the bronze medal. The silver will go to the Welshman, Dane Cookie. Cookie came to guts, won two events, second on the crag. And the Global Guts gold will go to Enrico from Germany. He will get the gold and he will take back a glowing piece of the Radical Rock to signify his victory here at Global Guts. Three world-class athletes, three world-class competitors. They came with guts and proudly high fives to their coaches. They'll get their country's flags and will proudly represent their nations on a quick jaunt around the extreme arena track. Listen to this crowd roar. No ifs, ands, or buts. These kids, they got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. 